probably, right? I sure can. So that means once I get the purple, the purple gun, I should be able to get up there pretty easily. Although, is this a one-way passageway? It sure is! Oh boy! That's probably the door to get into the train. So maybe once I can destroy the cosmic goop, I'll be able to come back. Sax? Sure is! Nemesis character? How is this gonna work? Can I kill it? Temporarily? This isn't like Resident Evil. I don't have ammunition. Save room at the new area. Always appreciated. Weird blue mushroom, which makes you wonder if this is, is this a platforming mechanic? Do I like bounce off of this? Uh, looks like I may actually. That was a hole. Is that not the, that must be a different kind of block that I'm not used to. Maybe it's like a one-way fall block, and I can destroy it, but only on, I can fall through it, but only on the one side. Oh god, it's a it's a bug. Everyone's favorite. Reminds me a bit of an area in dread. Because of the weird mushrooms, I definitely can't make that. Yeah. I, I guess that's just what doors look like here. Well, we're locked in and let. Well, uh, actually, I guess we're not locked in unless I have purple. Could also, there's also a down and a right. Who can say really what the what the, what the correct path is? Uh, well, looks like I either need to be able to crawl. Or I need blue in order to get that, whatever that is. That might be a collectible of some kind, or an ammunition upgrade. In fact, it may just be an ammo upgrade, now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, we need purple to go down here. The reason why I'm thinking as it's an ammunition upgrade is because I see... Um... Blue and purple were two of the colors on that item. And I know that we're getting a blue gun and a purple gun. Which suggests that we're also going to be getting a white gun as well. Ooh, e tank.
given that there was probably going to be a pursuer at some point, I, I mean, maybe. We also got a dark gun. Uh, maybe? But, I mean, purple. <laughs> this, this purple gun. Kind of like light gun. Or dark, dark gun. Probably gonna be getting the purple gun soon, if I was gonna guess. Cause there's a lot of things that we have that are blocking us on purple. On not having purple. Although maybe this game will just throw a curveball at me and give me something completely unexpected. It. Oh, it's like it's like a baby one of those bee things. less threatening than I was, than I was, I mean, it's still scary, don't get me wrong, but it's a lot less scary than I thought it was gonna be. It's green! Hello? Hello? Anyone there? He's probably gonna die. Guess not. Back to the habitation deck then. Huh? Who's there? What? Who are you? Y you. You're not the who the captain was talking about. Oh. Oh god. Okay, so it looks like if we get caught, we're super dead. It looks like we also might need flight and or a wall jump in order to get back up there and it does not seem like we can wall jump at all let alone single wall jump teleports you somewhere i mean very possible but i'm, I'm pretty sure that guy is super dead oh speaking of teleport i wonder if that just summons enemies Well, Anyway, that guy looks really fast, which is concerning. That's not what I thought happened. I, I thought it disappeared because it's like a weird ghost thing, and it took green with it. Making him super dead. I don't like that music change. That's... Wall jump? 
I was literally just talking about this. And it does have a single wall jump. I was not supposed to find this this way. <laughs> How was I supposed to find this? Uh, of course it would have a single wall jump, because, in fact, I bet that's what this is even trying to tell you about. Oh yeah, I guess it does make sense that it's a wall kick, because... Um, that's what Mega Man X does, too. I'm hoping there's gonna be a save room over this way. Oh hey! A save room over this way. Sequence breaking. I mean kinda. It looks like I'm supposed to just drop down that that hole there. So like, it's not much of a sequence break, but now that we have a wall kick, I'm sure there will be many a sequence break. Like that. Is there a refresh? Oh, well. Uh, wall spikes prevent you from doing that. I do wonder if doing a double jump is going to refresh your, um... You take a lot of damage from spikes in this game. Wow. <laughs> Completely threaded that needle. <laughs> Blah, I was headed there yesterday. I tried to get in touch. Nothing. What are they doing there anyway? They were operating on some sort of Erebus landing party. And just got up and left. Okay, so we're back in here. Which I suspect is where we're intended to go. Probably. Uh, I'm gonna go pop another save just... Just cuz. Did some mapping. First playthrough of Metroidvania, never going to be the most efficient. Uh, which is why, when I did Prime, I tried to be as efficient as possible, because it was not my first playthrough. I mean, I might as well map this for map's sake. Okay, so, I kind of expected this, but it looks like double jump, or a wall kicking does not refresh your jump. Which makes, it, it makes sense, it's what I was expecting. blue mushrooms. They are very fun. I'm expecting Scary McDooter is going to show up soon. This is a very long hallway. Green! So if I had a run button, I could go on top of that. That's another double jump. So if I can, like, make it through this room somehow, I can get a second double jump.
and tapping on my buttons because this is a Metroid game. Or, well, it's not a Metroid game, but it's a Metroid fan game, so I can't assume this is the kind of game where they'll tell you everything. Because Metroid fans love not being tutorialized properly on any mechanics. <laughs> Contrary, this game tells you nothing. It re I mean, it's been pretty good so far. Like, wall jumping wasn't a hidden mechanic. Double jumping wasn't a hidden mechanic. Yeah, that's the second time that... That's, that's probably ammunition. Uh, which tells me... That right now, I'm not going to be able to get up there. Which is fine, because we happen to know where something spooky is. And it conveniently is somewhere I can go with a wall kick. How convenient for me. <laughs> well, you see it past me. This ominous music is... The in fact, there's a spooky clone of me in this area. I mean, I say clone of me, but we're, like, pretty descriptive. It could honestly not be even be me at all. But, like, it appeared after me, and it looks vaguely like me, so it's probably an evil clone of an astronaut. I mean, you know what? We're wearing, we're wearing spacesuits. It's probably just an astronaut. <laughs> Getting a second double jump it would be really nice. Okay. Until we get purple, we're gonna have to go this way. Towards the spook zone. Someone say sus. All right, it's time to go say hi to our good friend, the sax. I mean, uh, totally, totally legally distinct nemesis character. So up here is going to be purple. I'm a little bit scared right now, but only because I don't know if this character is going to be like Nemesis or Mr. X. Specifically Mr. X. Or if they're going to be like the, the SAX from Metroid, where they just sort of exist, but aren't really an active threat or anything. The saxophone. Because this being a Metroid fan game, I mean, a, a, a game by Metroid fans, not necessarily a fan game of the Metroids. Um, I can re- I, I feel like I should be able to reasonably expect this to be somewhat- Okay, so I need the purple to go that way. Even, honestly, even the, um, the Emmys, which are not scripted stalkers, but they still kind of feel like it because they're like, you only encounter them in their levels. I really hope that, uh, Mercury Steam, like, oh, well, that was one-way block. Well, we were near a save point, so I'm not 
too scared. Right, those things take four shots. My charge shot isn't a real charge shot, it's just a, a shotgun. I can get up there if I so desire, but there was also a down path. Down path requires purple. Purple is next, I swear to god. It must be. There's so many things blocking us that are purple. This dude be like, you can double jump twice. Oh look, it's the purple. Press right trigger to fire. Oh. spread oh wait is that just a second charge spread sonic pulse I think my projectile does look a little bit differently. I think it's like a big square now. I don't think it... So there's a lot of items I can collect now that I have purple. And I, th I think purple is the last thing we needed in this area anyway. So I still need to be able to zoom in order to get through that, to get that. Yeah, I think I used to need three shots to defeat them, so we definitely have more damage. cooler if it also increased the size of our spread, but that's fine. Okay, so this way I think was blocked because of purple. No, that way was blue. This way, purple? Looks like it was purple, yes. And that's a boss door! Goody! Let's, let's leave that alone for now. Especially since the trek there is like, oh my god, that's so big. Although, it's a very safe trek. All things considered. I'm also noticing that the purple blocks seem to stay gone, which seems good. Okay, that's a one-way drop that I'm not going to be able to climb back out of. That being said, there are, I think, a couple upgrades I could get now that I may just want to do. 
Let's start with going up in the room with the save room. Right, no, no, that's the blue. I need blue for that. Mistakes were made. Weapon's gonna be. All things considered. I also wonder if I'm gonna get like extensions to my bar or if it's gonna be like the classic Metroid. I'm gonna get tanks for it. color blue cake also known as trans colors okay trans colors are nice but i think i'm gonna be going with red still it's the terminal that controls the biodome's climate programs crashed it's a terminal with a chat program that's been left running. The terminal is covered in plant fibers. Okay, 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 okay. I finally fixed the input response issue. Now the climate settings update in real time. It's co so cool. Okay, but did you re did you rest it? Test. Yes. Last time you messed with the climate software, it crashed. Yes. Don't worry. I double checked. It's flawless. It is nice colors, I quite like it. This area one enemies will have no idea what hit them. Well, let's see what this bo upcoming boss is before I decide if I want to fight it now or backtrack. One thing that I think I like an awful lot more about Metroid feeling Metroidvanias compared to others is that Metroid feeling Metroidvanias have like a greater chance of having you feel like incredibly overpowered by the end of the video game. Whereas in a lot of games that I've played, like most recently Soldiers, you do not get overpowered at all. I feel like in later phases it's gonna move up and down during this part. I do too. Oh, it has legs now. Okay. Sure. Phase three. I guess. I guess I'm gonna have to go above it now.
significantly easier than boss one, but m probably because I had uh, better up weapon upgrades. Is that green? Oh, well, there's one of the tentacles down. We beat Kraid. Okay, so there's only one other area then, plus the final area. <laughs> that was a fun boss fight. You prick. <laughs> 